Hello again, welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with a shorty. Oh my god, I'm really sorry. <laughs> In a comment on my YouTube review of my new Leonardo Memento Zero Prunia yesterday, viewer Sam S. asked a great question. He asked, would you be kind enough to let us know if the Moon Man will accommodate a Yovo nib? As I'm lining up my three Moon Man M800s uh, for a photo for the thumbnail for this video, let me describe what you're going to see. From top to bottom, here are my M800s. The top is my Moonman M800 uh, Amber that came with a Bach nib. Uh, these are substantially more money than the M800s that come with Moonman nibs, like this Galaxy and this uh, Emerald. It also comes in a purple color, which I have not purchased. But you'll notice that none of these pens have a Moonman nib. I replaced the Moonman nibs in the Galaxy and the Emerald for a pen BBS, and the Bach still remains on the Amber. After Sam's question, I took a spare Leonardo Yovo 1.1 stub nib that Salvatore gave me to replace the Bach on my Ferrore, and I experimented whether it would fit into the M800 with the Moonman feed, um, with the Moonman feed and collar or whether it would fit in the M800 with the Bach feed and collar. Here are the results. Here are the three M800s I own, one in Blue Galaxy, uh, one in Amber, and one in this Emerald Green. Uh, the Amber one actually has the original Bach nib in it, and this M800 is incompatible with the Moon Man, so that means the nib and feed collar assembly won't fit between uh, the two pens. Uh, these are more expensive than these that came with a Moonman nib. And I've put pen BBS in the two Moonman versions of the pen. So that's the pen BBS nib, and it fits fine. Um, this one is a beautiful writer. Neither of the Moonman nibs impressed me. So I didn't mind replacing them with a nib that does impress me. So I decided to take the emerald green one and I have this Yovo Leonardo nib. It's a 1.1 stub that I got as a replacement uh, from Salvatore. And I've taken it out of that uh, Leonardo Yovo uh, nib unit and I'm going to swap it with this Moonman M800. To see what happens. So I'm going to use the elastic band. This nib unit does unscrew, by the way. This is a Moonman nib unit, but I'm going to pull the nib and use the feed from the Moonman with the Yovo nib. There we go. And this has J. Urban. Emerald of Chicken in it. So we'll see how well that does. And just push the whole thing right back in again. Hot swapping, of course. And that looks to be aligned okay. We'll put the Emerald of Chicken back in. Oh, crap. Prime the feed a little bit. Watch for that bubbling as it goes up into the section. There we go. Right there. And here's a little Jack Hernandez trick. I'll turn the nib down and push a drop of ink through that nib so it gets flowing. And it tends to get rid of some of the sludge that might have built up in that slit. I'll put that back together again. We get some paper in here. So this is now a Moonman M800 with a Yovo 1.1 stub. It's actually a Leonardo. 
course the Leonardo stubs don't look like this if you buy them this was an early model that came out before uh, Salvatore changed to Yovo so this I got this in October November of 2020 they now don't have the scroll work on them but you can see here how well this works this is juicy this is juicy <laughs> now we should try to put a yovo into the moon man that has the bock nib that's a completely different nib and feed and it has a different converter as well you see that's a standard international whereas this one is the moon man size because the section threads are different so next I'm going to pull that nib out of there because we know it works in that moon man fitted pen it's a Yovo standard nib and we'll pull the Bach out of the moon man m800 that came with the Bach nib and see whether it works with the Yovo and now I'm going to pull that Yovo Leonardo stub out of the m800 there we go and put my pen BBS nib back in there we go and we pull the block use the block feed pulled the ring out with it there's a small silicone ring there and I'll swap the nib first and it doesn't want to go so yeah that's not that's a failed experiment right there Bach back on because it actually wrote very nicely in that amber pen I'm going to unscrew it and reinstall that ring that was missing where my trusty sewing needle comes in handy it easier to install those o-rings and that was all the way up to there there we go let me screw that back together again Some ink running into that action and there we go now we know that the number six yovo will fit in the moon man m800 but not in the m800 that comes with the bach nib so and it's as i suspected bach and yovo are incompatible and this is what goldspot discovered as well when they tried to swap a yovo leonardo nib into an old uh, leonardo momento zero and it didn't work so inquiring minds wanted to know and now you know I think I will put this Yovo stub back into that uh, emerald of chicken pen and because it was a really nice line it wrote very nicely and because it's so wet it's getting all that emerald of chicken glitz and glimmer and sheening that everybody loves about J. Urban emerald of Chivor so a short little video for you people that love when I get inky fingers as always if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification whenever a new video is posted thank you for watching and that's all she wrote I made this